Uh, you know, every time I've won a title, it's been on Sky, won the Southern Area on Sky Sports, won the English on Sky Sports, won the British on Sky Sports. So it was just a natural thing to do. I've actually got a promoter, big shout out to Ben Shalom, and a big platform that are ready to like, okay, Dan, what's the plan? No, I haven't, but let me, I'll give you a little sneak. Like, there's two, two opponents. One of them's actually quite... There's a little backstory to it. I've been taking a couple boxers. I took, I've taken Denzel down there, yeah. Denzel Bentley, Chris Bork, like, and one of them had to bloody be put in a recovery position in, in one, and I ain't even gonna say who it was, but Denzel. Yeah, I literally don't know what. It, like Dion could maybe outbox um, Richard. Richard could bang him out. That's it, man. And, and listen, uh, you know, tune into October Red. Her content is brilliant. She delves into the interview properly. She asks the correct questions, questions that you guys want to know. And yeah, tune in. <laughs>
you know, I never say overlook anything. The light heavyweight, the light heavyweight and the cruiserweight division domestically is smoky. Yeah. I know, you know, even look at the show, the headline of yeah, this card, which we can get into. Yeah. <laughs> but as a light heavyweight now, yeah. you haven't got an opponent yet, have you? No, I haven't. But let me, I'll give you a little sneak. Like, there's two, two opponents. One of them's actually quite, there's a little backstory to it. So hopefully, if once it gets confirmed, then I can indulge into it a bit more. But until it's confirmed, I can't really say anything. But yeah, one opponent, there's a little backstory to it. It's a bit spicy. So yeah, I, I look forward to it. We do like a backstory because yeah. that means it's more than just a boxing match. Exactly. Um, like I said, kind of like the headline. It makes it more interesting. So we talk about the light heavyweights. I know you can't reveal who your opponent is yet, but we know that there's potential for uh, Joshua Bawatsi and Craig Richards, yeah. another domestic. We love a domestic in this country. I don't know what it is. We yeah. just like to see each other scrap each other. What are your thoughts on that bout? Um, a big shout out to both of them for even taking the fight, making the fight happen and whatnot. Um, I don't know if it's been confirmed, but yeah, it's, it looks like it's going to happen. Whispers, yeah. yeah um, I sparred Craig um, for my upcoming fight with Jose, so I've done some rounds with him. I've uh, known him from the amateurs as well. I used to train a bit in the same gym. Known Joshua from way back, been sparring him for years as well. So it's really, really interesting. And they've fought in, in, as amateurs as well. Um, I think we actually got the nod in that. So it's that's a very interesting um, fight. Um, obviously, you know, I got the, the woodworks in my butt right now. I'm a, I'm a fence setter, you know, I'm not gonna, I can't say anything, but it's gonna be a very good fight and one that the public are really gonna enjoy. But it's a good fight, but then it's also a potential for you to fight one of those later on as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you've known them, you know them, and I just wanna ask this like for the fans, what's it like when you've known someone, when you've sparred them, when you've been in the same gym training with them, and then you end up being opponents? I know you've done it before. I remember, you know, the bang out, yeah. the guy. I've done, the, with, yeah. Yeah, I've done it with Sterling. I've done it with Charlie, um, Charlie Duffield. Duffield S right. Sterling I used to spar hundreds of rounds with before yes. I fought him. So what you got to understand is you can be friends and it's like sparring. You, you can be mates and whatnot. But when you go in for sparring, you know, you get caught with one shot. You're like, what? You don't, there's no, oh, he's my friend. So it's not it's, it's there's no different when you get in the ring there's more money on the line there's more to lose now so audience. yeah exactly the audience you know your your o's gonna go or you're gonna you can take a loss so it's you know like i mentioned in my last interview tyson lennox lewis evander holyfield they were all like buddies you know they all used to spar and stuff but when they were fighting they were bitter rivals and that's what it's like it's not about uh oh, you know i have to be um best best buddies so I can't fight this person and whatnot it's all part of the game man do you know what I mean look at Larry Holmes and Muhammad yeah. Ali those were sparring partners um, Zab and Mayweather they known each other from when they were young um, it happens all the time man so um, for me personally it's not it's not really a boogie do you know what I mean we bash each other's heads free of charge so we like we smoke each other in the gym free of charge like so why wouldn't we do it for some money to feed our families, to better our, ourselves, you know, and put on a good show for the fans? So for me, it's not nothing personal, do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, boxing's an ego-driven sport, you know. Trust you me. get in there, it's I'm better than you, I'm faster than you, I can hit harder than you, I can take more than you. So whether you're my friend or not, I'm there to show you that, look, wherever you want to go, I'm going to go there too. So um, yeah, man, um, big shout-outs to them for... Getting the, getting the fight on and hopefully we can see more of that. Looking at it from a fan's point of view, because like you said, it's pure fence sitting. Yeah. I'm getting that <laughs> feeling about the headline of this card as well, so yeah. I get that. Yeah. But it's like the fans will take it personal. Yeah. Say for example, if I don't know, if, say for example, I didn't know Craig yeah. and you were fighting, I'd back you, I'd yeah, be backing yeah. you online. And it's almost like personal to the fans, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's just to get that message across that at the end of the day, you can end up growing up in the gym with someone yeah, yeah. and then you end up fighting for championships. 100%. It's just the way it is. 100%. How do you feel like um, afterwards, when all said and done, say for example, you fight someone who you know quite well, yeah. when it's all said and done, 
does that friendship remain as it was even if like it's a severe beating that either one of you get this is just something that I've always wanted it, to know it depends on the person do you know what I mean some people can take it like oh you know what like you really touched me up do you know what I mean so or like some people can't because at the end of the day it's personal but it ain't personal because yeah. it's your livelihood this is what you do like this is your passion this is what you you're, you you train for and everything so some for me when people are like oh you know don't take it too like personal it's just a fight or not no but that's my life so i understand so it can change the dynamics of the of the relationship for sure um so yeah man um after me and sterling fought yes. before that we was going at it the, at the at the interview between me and him even after that when we got into the um elevator imagine we both got in the elevator at the same time like obviously I could have let him go, but I thought, nah, man, I'm going in there, and he's thinking, nah, I'm not, I'm not Ego. waiting, yeah. I'm, so we both got in there, and then we're just like going at it, like, nah, you did this, nah, watch when I see, I sweat literally me and him. Then after the fight, we're hugging, like, yeah, wow. nah, you know, it's nothing, man. Did it, did it. So that's boxing for you, man. So. And this card, then finally, before I let you go, because yeah. I know. What? I have to make sure you're in shot because I ain't yeah, got sorry, a wide sorry, angle lens. Yeah, sorry, we have to get really no, cozy, you know, like you no, was no, in your yeah. hot yoga yesterday. <laughs> that, yeah, I watch your stories all the time. No shame in that. I was going to repost come, you it. Got, you got to come down one day, man. Uh, you know See what? I will. Like Trust me. I'll try it. Yeah, 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 but no. what I want to do is yeah. come down and try the training okay. that you do in the gym. Okay, then. That's Trust what I do. The hot yoga is just as brutal, I'm telling you. For me, I, maybe it's because. I'm used to the boxing training, but hot yoga, man, I've been taking a couple boxers. I took, I've taken Denzel down there, yeah. Denzel Bentley, Chris Bork, like, and one of them had to bloody be put in a recovery position in, in one, and I ain't even going to say who it was, but... Denzel. Yeah, no, I'm not even going to say who it is, but... Yeah, no, hot yoga is, is good, man. It's very, very, very good. Um, you know, stretches out the body, you know, um, cleanses, cleanses the body and everything, and it's good, man, so, yeah. I'll do normal yoga, but yeah, I'll, no, I'll take hot, you up. Please, I'll, try I'll, hot, I'll, try hot, try hot. It's, it's a madness. <laughs> so, in relation to this card yeah. then, what is the fight that you're looking forward to the most and why? Um, the React Paul versus Juma fight. That's a Boy. sick, sick fight. Um, Richard is a puncher, out and out puncher. He's probably... What's funny is I fought Richard in the amateurs as well oh, when he was that. yeah when he was a light heavy and um, we got to the was it the quarterfinals or semifinals of the ABAs and he beat me on a split decision and he's probably the hardest person that's oh, ever hit me he can whack he can whack then Dion Juma he's Southport. yeah Southport and he can box and he's one of the first guys that I um come across in the amateurs I remember him um Benga Alemi over there. Um, Anti Joshua, them three, they won the ABAs um, in the area where I was studying and I went to watch it and when I saw them two just pulverise it, them three pulverise everyone, I said, yeah, I want to start competing. Like, So them okay. three are the reasons why I said, yeah, I'm going to start no actually way. competing competitively. Yeah, start fighting competitively. So, um, yeah, I know Dion from years, very good fighter. So I, I literally don't know what, it, like Dion could maybe outbox um, Richard, Richard can bang him out, but Dion's a puncher as well. Dion can take a shot as well. Richard can take a shot. I've seen Richard go into the light, like you know, deep waters. So it's a proper, and I rate both of them so highly for actually taking the fight. Do you know what I mean? Because Dion could have just said, "Listen, I'm mandatory for the British. Uh, if Loal can't fight, I'll just wait my turn. Give me someone else." But yeah, Richard is on the cusp of a world title. He could have been like, "Nah, he hasn't even won a British. Why should I fight?" But they both come together, and you got to commend both of them man 100%. like seriously the fans you're really in for a treat i'm telling you and you have to rate these two for actually taking this fight i couldn't have said it better yeah. myself dan aziz <laughs> listen i'll catch up with you no in problem. there i'm gonna be there all fight week because no, boxer always let me yeah, in that's it man and, and uh, listen, you look tune into october red her content is brilliant she delves into the interview properly she asks the correct questions questions that you guys want to know and yeah tune in <laughs> no, you're making me no. blush. I can't no, wait. No, no. That, oh. that car's brilliant. It is, and it's a brilliant car for you, to be honest, as well. Do you know what I mean? Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, 
at October Red, we stay ready.